Hi, I'm Holland Roden, and you're watching Hollywire. Hi! Hi! How are you? I'm good, I'm good. Okay, um, I want to play uh, some Hollywire first with you. First movie or TV show, we'll say movie or TV show, you ever really fell in love with? Well, my favorite TV show is a, it's a British show called Utopia. Um, that's probably my favorite one of all time. Um, okay. Highly suggest watching the British version of Utopia. Um, I'll watch it. Growing, growing up, I was a big, big like Elizabeth Montgomery fan with Bewitched. Like I didn't know these were old shows. My mom would show me those as like a five year old. So the Dick Van Dyke show, I Dream of Jeannie, uh, Bewitched. Yes. All my favorite shows. I Love Lucy. Like those were the shows that I didn't realize were old. <laughs> celebrity crush you've ever had? I don't know. Well, I think it was probably creepy for my mother because I said I thought the boy was cute in the stout fire and she's like, oh yeah, the son. I was like, no, the dad. Like, uh, the Pierce Brosnan character. <laughs> so I had a, a, a crush on Pierce Brosnan far before it was appropriate too. How has it been for you? Like, how has life been? I'm building a tiny house right now um, in rural Wisconsin, so I'm okay. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I've seen. You're like blogging it, kind of, sort of, right? Yeah, I, I've wanted to build one of these for many years, but um, I, I thought at the last minute, maybe I'll document it, and, and it could be interesting to show, and see uh, if anyone else was interested in van life. Maybe I could inspire them if they're not already following other van lifers, so. God, that's so cool, though, seriously. Um, let's talk about another exciting thing, No Escape, your new movie. Yep. This movie looks so cool. And I don't know if it's because I just feel like it's super relevant to real life. Like these vloggers go on these trips and then obviously it turns into like a horror situation. But very cool, just for people who have yet to see the trailer or see the film, um, you know, talk about it. Talk about the whole thing. Yeah, I, I read the script probably two plus years ago. We shot it a couple years ago and two years ago, like to last month. And yeah, it was a, I get a lot of horror scripts just because of Teen Wolf and right. I think content's king and it doesn't matter the genre. So if it's a great script, I want to be part of it. And uh, my manager sent me this script and said, I really like this one. And I did as well. I mean, Will's, Will's an amazing writer. Um, you know, you look at things like Mother or The Strangers or Jordan Peele's. Yeah work I feel like I feel like Will falls into that category and he's his for in the horror is so realistic in a sense that he'll pick a topic like a YouTuber which two years ago I never thought I would ever be on YouTube but a YouTuber yeah in life shock and awe wants to raise the bar there are stories of real YouTubers in real life you know getting in too much trouble or having too much access and and showing that that can be a really bad thing that that there is such thing as too much power, too much access. Um, and what was it like working with Keegan Allen? He's also, you know, major actor. I feel like that must have been awesome. Your chemistry is probably off the charts. It looks like it by the trailer. Um, so what was it like working with him? The whole cast really got along pretty well. We were we all have some more work ethics, and we shot in Los Angeles, and it was just a really easy movie to shoot. Honestly, there's movies that are amazing nonetheless, but but to shoot them was quite strenuous, and this was not the case. This was a uh, a really easy shoot um and so yeah I, as far as keegan goes i uh we, he was on a show that maybe had an overlapping fan base with three little liars and so Definitely. yeah i can see that i think it's fun to watch fans see two of their favorite shows somewhat come together so i think that's cool. a fun aspect with um with filming together as far as I yeah. yeah totally <laughs> yeah no that is really cool i i've seen you know a lot of fans are very excited to see this kind of like collab come into motion yeah. um Talk about, did you guys draw inspiration from real life bloggers? Were you like, okay, let's watch Logan Paul or David Dobrik or, you know, any of that going on? I personally didn't, um, but I know that Keegan had a different process because he was the one holding the camera and he was the one vlogging. I still can't vlog, right? I look at, <laughs> as an actor, you're taught not to look at the lens, uh, you know, unless it's like a POV or some specialty shot. Right. So you're supposed to look at the person and, yeah, or the map box at least, not the lens. And so, uh, yeah, so it's, it's an interesting transition. Um, but George Jenko is an actual developer and yes. very good friends with Logan Paul. And so uh, he gave us a lot of tips and, and, and we would always kind of ask him questions that pertain to the, what do you do when you vlog kind of thing. And and so, yeah, we had we had a, an expert on set with us in the cast. Have you ever done an escape room in real life? 
Oh, I love escape rooms. I love I love um, game nights, and I actually took my mom and my best friend and her mom to Vienna. Uh, it's where escape rooms were incepted, and so it's first place. Oh, cool. And so I did that. I, I had a couple of birthdays in escape rooms. I like game nights though, and playing mafia and the heavy Euro board games. Like I'm a big gamer, so. Okay, good luck with your van. The rest of your van work. Good luck. I'll be watching. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thanks so much. Okay, thanks guys. Bye.